All right, it's Mark Wins here. I am in Saigon, Vietnam, and I am sitting down to eat a dish, and it is uh, beef stew. Okay, Baka. Sang fur. Sang ban fur. Sang ban fur. Sang ban fur. Sang ban fur. Okay. Fur. Baka. Oh. Ud. Nyun. 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 Okay. Baka. Baka. Okay, so the stew is pronounced Baka. She is really, really nice here and a great location restaurant. So I just ordered and you can get it a couple of different ways. You can actually get it with pho or you can get it with egg noodles. But I got mine just uh, as the, the stew with bread on the side and uh, yeah, I got it that way. So it is looking a little bit oily but it also smells really good and got some nice chunks of beef. There are onions, these look like shallots, uh, carrots, and then there she sprinkled on some black pepper. So I'm just going to taste a little bit first and I think I'll then garnish with um, chili and some herbs as well. Oh, that's looking a little greasy, but. Mm. That is, wow, well, that, is, that is very greasy, but it does taste very good. Very beefy, a little bit sweet, almost tomato-y. And I can taste the sweet onions um, and then I got a nice bite of the culantro, the sawtooth herb in there as well. There are some interesting sauces on this table, like that looks just like um, ketchupy goop. And then this one is like a, this one looks really good, like a chili sauce, I believe. Add a bit of this, and then and then I'll probably squeeze on some lime. There's all these herbs as well. But I might just eat them on the side because the broth is so uh, greasy. I don't want them to all get greasy in the soup. So let me just stir that around. And all right, maybe I'll go in with my chopsticks. But I gotta taste that beef next. Mm. That beef is supreme. Oh, it tastes like a roast. It tastes like roast meat. And then. And then I'm gonna tear into the baguette. And I might try to load in some of this, oh, a little shallot. I'll load that into the bread a bit. Oh, that's oily. And top it with some, some basil. That almost has like a, that almost tastes like like pepperoni, the flavor of that stew. It has like like that salty, um, almost like sausagey flavor to it. Mm. That shallot, that shallot is so sweet and just saturated with beef flavor. I'm gonna load in a piece of. Oh, that's a carrot. I'm gonna load in a, a beef, some beef and some onions into this little bread pocket. And then I'm gonna top it with a couple, a couple fresh chilies. These are the good ones right here. Oh, that looks marvelous. Kind of squish it up like a little sandwich bite. That was a big bite, but that is pretty good. Okay, now for the carrot. Mm. That carrot is really soft and tender, and it's the type of carrot that just sort of disintegrates in your mouth when you take a bite. That's always wonderful. Add more beef to this. Mm. 
I think beef stew should always be served with Vietnamese herbs. That really makes it good. Mm. The beef was delicious. Uh, the carrots and the shallots uh, were the ingredients I really liked as well. It was a little on the greasy, oily side, or very, very oily, but it was, it was tasty, and I especially love how they serve stew in Vietnam with all the herbs and um, the, the basil and the culantro and, that, and chilies and limes. That really adds to a bowl of beef stew for sure. Uh, but huge thank you to EatingSaigon.com for this uh, restaurant recommendation here in Saigon. This is a nice, a nice spot and it's a nice quiet uh, alley atmosphere in Saigon. The beef was tender and delicious. Ngon ngon. Oh, ngon ngon. Ngon ngon. Delicious, delicious. Ngon ngon ngon. Ngon 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 ngon. Ngon 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 ngon. Ngon 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 ngon.